Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. In this three-part series, we're going to build a table in uh, using Bootstrap. And this is the table that we're going to be building. This is the flight scheduler, uh, showing the actual data from a JSON data file. And then we're going to, you know, add the uh, column names and populate the data with the actual data from a JSON text uh, JSON file. Now, this is um, if you look at this table here. You can probably know, or maybe you have you have your own way of um, tackling this, but there are like two different approaches you can uh, use to solve this kind of problems. Now, one is called the top-down approach, where you would take a really complex application program, or in this case, module or component, and you break it down into its each smaller parts. Like this is a, a you know a really large table, for example. You can break it down so that the um, uh, entire component can be in it on its own and then within that component you can break it down further by maybe you know this uh, particular button here can be their own component as well so that's going from the top down to the smaller components the other approach is using a bottom-up approach that's by going from the smallest one and then you build your way up the chain right and the two approaches are equally effective uh, depending on what you have at, at hand so if you don't have anything you know uh, you don't know what um, data you need yet, then it's typically uh, more common to use the top-down approach. You build something really large, really broad first, and you you know get in small and small into the uh, finite uh, data and example. But if you have all your data with you already, you know exactly what you want, then it's um, sometimes easier to do the smaller uh, approach first from the uh, bottom-up approach. Like you know, same thing with you build applications or database systems. Alright, so this is the one we're going to build and then we are going to um, uh, use this table here. If you go to the Bootstrap site, put the link here on the table tables uh, column and you can use any one of these tables here. Uh, we can just basically use the same skeleton here. All we have to do is apply this style sheets or these style rules and this table will be changed uh, very easily. Uh, adding classes to these here okay but I'm gonna use the responsive tables if you click on the right side here this is the one I'm gonna use so uh, I'll use this div tag with the responsive table and then the table will be nested inside it and then inside a the table I'm probably gonna use this um, I like the hover over hover over rows here it's, it's gonna give you a really nice hover effect All right so let's go in let me um, uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'll come back and grab this. But let's go to the app and see what we need to do first. So in the code here, in the Angular, go to the SRC the app, and we need to uh, up, need the uh, app component and the HTML. <clears throat> all right. So we're gonna replace all of these here. Um, actually, before I go on, I want to go back to the net, and I forgot something. I think. Yeah, this title here, I'm going to change it to say flight app and the link will go back to the home page. All right, so just the slash. Okay, so I'm done with this one here. And also the navigation for the footer. I mean the footer. Um, oh, yeah, we did already. So that's, uh, no, we did not. I don't know why I put the ng template here, right? Yeah, it's in type order. Okay, so that's fixed. All right, so now we don't need all of these here now anymore. Let me collapse some of these. I think we're just gonna need the top um, container. So this one here will be gone. All of these will be gone actually. Um, I don't need all of these here. Let's see what we need. Uh, the footer, yeah, this is just the uh, default footer. We don't need that, we have our own. This is the logo. Yeah, so all is going to be gone. This div tag, I think it's the root tag, so we'll leave that there. I'm going to highlight this part all the way to the top and everything up to line 5. So all those will be gone. And uh, this, instead of content, it's going to say container. Okay, we're going to change it to container. This is the, um, the main container. All right, so now we are ready to go and go to the Bootstrap site and copy these in. So I'm going to copy this 
go back and just add it back to the tag here. So the table will go right here. I'm going to just delete this. I'll add the actual table. We want to put it right in here. Okay. So let's go back and add the other one back. So I'm going to go to the hoverable rows and copy this table here. I'm not going to need all of them. I'll delete them. But for now, we just need some uh, some C data to show what it looks like. And we paste it right in here. Okay. And then now um, we need to put the title of the uh, table here. So I think up here right above the container, uh, this is the responsive, the main table here. I mean, wrap around the table. And then so in the main container up here, I'm going to put a maybe another div. And I'll put like an H1 here for the flight scheduler title. And we'll make this a class of title. All right. Um, <clears throat> the responsive is the one that wraps around the table. And but I want to see what it looks like first. OK, so let's just save this and go to the app and see if it's there. I'm not sure if I uh, run this or not. I might have not run it yet. Yeah, I didn't. OK, let's go run our app first. All right. ng serve. <clears throat> OK, so while that's um, it is rendering, I'm going to go back to the browser, go to the page here, and notice that we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 column. Okay, it is the action 9 columns here. We have a um, kind of like a grayish color uh, border or background around the table. And the table has a header. I'm probably going to change this to have a dark highlighted background for the header. And uh, so there's some padding around here as well. Going to give you an idea of what that will look like. Okay, so let's see if it's up already. All right, looks good. All right, so we got the title. Good so far already. And I want to change this to a, um, a dark or shaded background here. I probably don't need the bar on the top, so we'll make that borderless. And we'll add nine columns. And also the first row, first column here, I just want to be just the same font type here. It shouldn't be too dark. Okay. All right. So let's go and modify our code further. I can, I can close the terminal now. I don't need this for now. So we are going to put up here the responsive. That's the outer border. And you can make it round. So just put rounded here. I want to also have a background BG of um, use the light the light is kind of like, oh, it's almost like white, but it's not really white. It's like a light grayish color. And um, I probably need some padding. So P, I'll use padding 4. And uh, let's see what that gives us. It might as a margin too, but we'll see. And then right above the table, I'm going to have a maybe another div. I don't know. Um, inside, it's the title we call Active Flight Schedule. OK, we'll see what that looks like. And then the table hover, I like that. I'm going to, um, yeah, so I think that's that's fine. The head here, I want the head to have a class of table, um, what do you call it, borderless. OK. <clears throat> and I also want the color to be a little bit dark, so you can have a, you can use the BG or this, uh, a color called table dash a secondary kind of like a little bit dark does the table you know the colors are pretty much pretty standard in uh, bootstrap from light you know primary secondary to info danger and you know and things like that right so that's gonna give you a kind of dark background now the each record notice we ha it uses the th that's what gives you that bold number right the bold uh, um, font size. So I'm going to change this just to use the TD, the regular um, column only. And so this will be all TD, same thing. And these are repeating, so I'm just going to delete all these. I'm going to do that many times. And once I find the leg, I'm just going to duplicate that. But remember, it has nine columns. So there are four of them here. Just put your mouse there, press um, Alt-Shift, 
and up and down arrow a couple of times. So uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right for that, same thing down here. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then you can go ahead and then duplicate this row here, TR, and uh, same thing. One, two, three, four. A couple times, and you can change the number if you want, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just putting here so we can see some um, a little bit different in the content. So, oh, yeah, well, let me just delete one of these. Okay, so up here, then the first one is called number, just NO. And this is the flight, um, I think, no, not flight, it's like the airline. This would be like the flight ID actually, but we'll just call number. Here will be the um, flight number. This is the trip type. The departure airport and arrival airport. Mm. This is the departure date. And uh, I think it's the return date. And then finally, here is just the actions. Okay. All right. So let's save this and see what it looks like. Let's go back to the browser. And okay, looks not too bad. Now we need to put some border on the bottom here, like it's too close to the um, footer. So we put some border, I mean, uh, like margin around it. Um, in here as well, it's probably a little bit too close. I put some, maybe some margins around this as well, below that. And I think this is good for now. Later on, we add some actual data. We'll see, we might have to adjust some of these columns um, width, but let's go ahead and fix this too pieces of, of um, information and we'll, I think we're done with this one here. So this one here, I'm going to have a class and I just call this the MB for bottom. I'll give it like a, I don't know, maybe a two for the margin bottom, that's what it means. The table here, well the, the here, so I have the padding. I'm going to use the margin as well. So a margin, you can use bottom or you can use, if you top and bottom, you're going to use like NY, right? NY4 that gives you top and bottom. If you go X and X direction, it'll be MX, okay? The M will just give you all around. So I'm just going to put top and bottom of four and let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it uh, looks pretty good. I'll probably give a little bit darker for this one here, but other than that, so far it looks um, pretty nice. So I'm just going to go and make this bold and we're done with this video. That means this one here, the P, give it a class and just say um, font weight bold. So once you know all these, you know, rules in Bootstrap, it's very easy to you know, um, easily to uh, modify your content without adding, adding any additional CSS. Of course, it doesn't give you everything, but sometimes uh, these will give you enough already to have it have it going. So, all right, so let's go and view, and I think we're good. Okay, it's bolded. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go in and create the actual data, and we'll populate this with the actual data.